Helix or Nectar? Which should you choose? Hey guys, it's Martin here for Mattress Clarity, and today we're talking about just that. We're gonna take a look at both mattresses, their similarities, their differences, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Helix and the Nectar. You'll also find some great exclusive coupons in the description below. So I want to note before we get started that today I'm talking about the Helix Midnight Mattress, the most popular model, and the original Nectar mattress. That being said, let's talk about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, they are both very popular mattress brands. They both have great customer service terms. And last but not least, they both feature memory foam somewhere in their construction. So now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, the Helix mattress is going to be thicker than the Nectar. In terms of construction, there are some differences as well. With the Helix Midnight mattress, it's going to be a hybrid mattress. With the Nectar mattress, it's going to be an all foam mattress with memory foam right on top. Now, because these construction differences, there are going to be some feel differences as well. So with the Helix, more of a kind of balanced mattress feel overall. With the Nectar Matters, more of a classic memory foam feel. Now, speaking of price, the Nectar Matters at full price is going to cost more than the Helix Midnight. So now let's take a look at the construction of both these mattresses, starting off on top and then working our way down. First off, with the covers on the Helix Midnight mattress, a thin, breathable cover allows some airflow through the top of the mattress. Over on the Nectar mattress is going to be a tensile cover, also going to help with cooling and breathability. Moving down to the comfort layers, on top of the Helix Midnight mattress, you're going to have Memory Plus foam right on top. It's going to be soft and pressure leaving, has a little bit of that slow moving memory foam feel. Now below that, you're going to have a foam transition layer, which is bouncier and more responsive. Moving over to the Nectar mattress, on top a layer of gel memory foam, infused with gel to help with cooling, thick and pressure leaving as well. Below that, a layer of high core memory foam acts as a transition layer, also adds some more pressure relief to the top of the mattress. Moving down to the support layers on the Helix Midnight mattress, individually wrapped coils that are resting on a thin layer of foam. Moving over to the Nectar mattress, you're going to have a base support foam in the support layer. So what does all that mean? Well, the main difference between these two mattresses is going to be found in their support layers. So with the Helix mattress, individually wrapped coils and base foam in the Nectar. Now, because of that, the Helix is going to be a more supportive mattress than the Nectar. It's also going to be more breathable. So speaking of breathability and cooling, it shouldn't trap as much heat as the Nectar, should be a better match for hot sleepers. Last but not least, speaking of durability, with the addition of coils more of a kind of high-end design, the Helix Midnight might last longer than the Nectar. And now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Helix Midnight was close to a seven out of 10. The Nectar was close to a six and a half out of 10. I will note though that I am a larger person. I'm pressing further into both these mattresses than a lighter person might. So if you're lighter than me, they both might feel softer to you. And if you're heavier than me, they might feel firmer to you. But for me, a seven and a six and a half. Now, speaking of feel, with the Helix Midnight, more of a balanced foam feel overall. You also get some good bounce from the coil, so more responsive, more easy to move around on this mattress. Now, with the Nectar, kind of has that classic memory foam feel. So you lie down, you slowly sink in, kind of feel the mattress envelop you. So a pretty different feel between these two mattresses. And now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting off on the Helix Midnight on my back, very good balance of comfort and support. My hips sink in the right amount, good lumbar support, good contouring as well. Moving to my side, some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips, but being a larger person, I'm pressing pretty far into this mattress, feeling a little bit of pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, if you're lighter, you might feel better pressure relief on this mattress. Moving to my stomach at the same time, not quite supportive enough for me. I'm bowing at the hips and I'm getting out of alignment. Moving over to the Nectar mattress on my back, also a good match for me. Good balance of comfort and support, even more contouring on this mattress, some decent lumbar support as well. Moving to my side and feeling some better pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Definitely a thicker comfort layer over on the Nectar, so feeling less pressure in those areas. Last but not least, speaking of stomach sleeping, it's even softer than the Helix, so I'm feeling less support under my hips, also blowing in there and getting out of alignment. 
Here at Matt Clear, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results with both these mattresses. On the left, you have the Helix Midnight, and on the right, you have the Nectar mattress. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you do want to think about. It's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now edge support means if you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure and more like you're going to roll off and onto the floor? So first off, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the Nectar mattress. Now, the Helix also handles motion transfer well, but with the Nectar mattress, a thick layer of memory foam right on top of the mattress, really absorbing a lot of that motion. So, better for couples in that respect. Now, speaking of edge support, I would give the advantage to the Helix Midnight mattress. With the coils and the construction, I feel much more secure sitting and lying down at the edge of this mattress. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Helix Midnight, first off, I think it's a better option for hot sleepers. With the coils and the construction, a lot more room for airflow should trap less heat than the Nectar mattress. It's also, I think, a better option for back sleepers between the two, a better balance of comfort and support on the Helix Midnight mattress, and with the coils, more overall support. Last but not least, those who are more of a fan of a balanced foam feel, a balanced mattress, they want ease of movement on their mattress, that should definitely go with the Helix Midnight. Now, in terms of who should get the Nectar, I think first off, a better option for side sleepers. It is softer than the Helix Midnight, offers better pressure relief on the shoulders and the hips. It's also off of that a better option for those who prefer a softer mattress. Again, between the two, the Helix Midnight is firmer than the Nectar, so if you want something softer, go with the Nectar. Now, last but not least, speaking of feel, those who prefer more of a slow-moving memory foam feel, they should probably go with the Nectar. You get a little bit of that feel right on top of the Helix Midnight, but with the Nectar, an overall slow-moving memory foam feel. So the Helix Midnight and the Nectar are both bed-in-a-box mattresses. They're going to come to your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox it? Well, let's take a look at the Nectar mattress. So first off, ask your friend for help. This mattress can be quite heavy. You don't want to hurt or strain yourself. Have them help you bring that mattress inside and into your bedroom. Then open up the top of the box, take out your rolled up mattress, place that on your frame or foundation. Then slowly, carefully cut the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then clear away all that plastic, the packing materials, give it about 24 to 48 hours for the off gas and expand, and you're good to go. Now, if you are interested in getting the Helix Midnight or the Nectar mattress, and you want the best deal possible, head over to mattressclarity.com for some great money-saving coupons. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you're still a bit confused or want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. Just get started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this, so hit the like button and subscribe.